Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving 10 days of JavaScript's problem, day 3 arrays. Let's begin. So we have to complete the get second largest function in the editor below, and it's one parameter array of nums and numbers. The function must find and return the second largest number in nums. Okay, so we have this input right here. Oh, by the way, you might be asking what is an array? Array is a data structure that contains a bunch of values. Now, in this case, the values here are numbers, and we know that the size is 5. But usually, the arrays are presented inside. Um, you could be more familiar seeing arrays like presented like this, 2, 3, 4, 5. It looks like this. In JavaScript, which makes it much more distinguished than other languages, is that you can actually put different types of values that inside um, an array, which is pretty peculiar. You put strings and numbers and mix them around like that. Usually in other languages like Java, they're more you know, strict. Anyways, I got a little off tangent. You know what arrays are? Let's continue. So we have this example. We have 23665, all right, and we return 5 because that's the second largest number. Even if there's two numbers that are much more larger than that one, we want the second largest number. So, okay, there's a little more complexity than I expected from the problem. However, that should not stop us. Here's how do we do this. So one, we really want distinct numbers. In other words, we don't want to have any repeating numbers because when we want the second largest, it doesn't matter if there's one trillion sixes in the beginning. We just want the five because that is still the second largest number. To remove the, dupli the dupli <laughs> duplicate values and numbers, by the way, I'm an English speaker. For some reason, I'm having trouble with English and I feel ashamed for myself. So okay, here, nums is going to be equal to now we're going to use this set function, and that would remove all the duplicates from the numbers array. Now we want to return the nums back into array again, so that we can sort it in numerical order, and it will play a role in finding the second largest number. To do that, I can do this way. Nums is equal to array dot from nums, and in that way, it permits it to create an array from the set that we just originally started with. Now I want to sort this in numerical order, so nums.sort, and to sort this, I might have to create some sort of compare function to make sure it can be bigger or less than, um, I mean, sorry, you can use a comparator. A comparator means, I'll show you, I just create a comparator like this, A and B. Now I want to return A minus B. So what this does is that if there's any difference in the size with A and B, it's going to sort that in that order so that the smallest number goes to the left of the value. Like we just say, it would be like this, dot, 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 dot. It would be A and B. It would be sort of like this way if A is less than B. Or if B is smaller than A, it will be B, A. That's the best way I can explain it. It determines the order of how it will sort out all the values from left to right. So I insert the comparator function. Nums is equal to nums.sort. After that one, I really want the second to last value, and then I would return the second largest value, so I do nums. And since the, the largest value is at the end of the array, I would do nums.length minus two. And that would get us the second largest value. Because since the index of arrays start from zero to n minus one, where n is the length of the array. So let's see if this works. I think there might be some syntactic errors. I think I did make this a new set in order to make this work. Let me try that again. Oh my gosh, lucky guess. It would be an awkward cut if I would do if it didn't work. Let's don't get too excited. It works awesome. All right, guys, so there's a lot of complex things that I introduced here that I probably explain well, so i do it again. Set removes the distinct values from a data structure. In this case, it's arrays. An array dot from converts the set back to an array so that we can sort it out. Use the sort function. Uh, in order to sort it out to any way I want it, I can use this compare, compare, I use a comparator function. The comparator function determines the order based on the rules I set. In this case, return A minus B. And when I do it, return A minus B, the difference determines whether it should be sorted, whether it should be sort, whether the A and B should be sorted from least to greatest, or greatest to least, or in, in any pattern that you determine right here. Actually, let me show you an example right now. If I did B minus A, then I don't have to do nums at length minus 2. I think it would be just better if I just do this. 1. 
Let's see if this works. Yep, there you go. This it works the same way. So as, as I demonstrated before, it determines how you want to sort it out. And since we want the second largest value, um, I just and in this case, the way I created it right here is that it goes from greatest to least. Then I just return the second value within that order. And when I submit the code, it passes. All right, guys, I hope you like my content. Please like and subscribe. I hope this gives you an idea how to do JavaScript. Um, Hackering is kind of a little bit, you know, even if even I am kind of a okay, novice programmer, I know that some of the stuff is not easy if you're learning programming for the first time. But it takes some time, and I'm, you know, just be patient. Just do this many times, and you might get used to it. All right, guys, best of luck. See you.